In a daring announcement, scientists claim to have discovered a new planet that defies all accepted theories. In addition to its size and location, NASA, which is renowned for its groundbreaking discoveries, revealed that this planet is remarkable because it emitted light that appeared to be artificial. Could this be the start of solving mysteries that could fundamentally change our understanding of the cosmos? Is this discovery suggesting the possibility of extraterrestrial life? By exploring NASA's amazing revelations, we may soon learn the truth behind these strange lights. NASA launched the Dawn spacecraft in 2007 with the intention of studying some of the solar system's most fascinating objects. What was found by James Webb, equipped with three ion engines for propulsion, until it was reclassified in 2006, this object in the asteroid belt, which is situated between Mars and Jupiter, was thought to be the smallest dwarf planet in the solar system. With a diameter of roughly 9,950 kilometers, it is the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt and one of the most fascinating because of its distinctive features. Scientists eagerly anticipated the first close-up views of this mysterious world, which showed bright spots strewn all over its surface especially inside a sizable crater called a cater. These bright spots instantly caught scientists' attention and generated a great deal of conjecture within the scientific community. Little was known about this dwarf planet prior to dawn, and the possibility of acquiring high-quality close-up photographs offered fascinating new discoveries. The best image we had of the series was a fuzzy, low-resolution photograph acquired by the Hubble Space Telescope. The Dawn mission's goal was to further our knowledge of how the solar system formed and how water influenced the evolution of planetary bodies. The highly reflective materials that make up the bright spots on Ceres, which have also been observed on other asteroids, could be salts left over from evaporating water. This discovery raised the prospect of cryovolcanism on Ceres, a process in which volcanoes release brine or water rather than molten rock. But what are these enigmatic lights exactly? And what can they tell us about the nature of Ceres? Could they be signs of ongoing geological processes? Dawn's voyage started with a 14-month mission to explore Vesta, the belt's second biggest asteroid. Dawn returned high-resolution data and photographs that revealed Vesta's complex surface and varied geology. With the help of its ion engines, Dawn proceeded to the second and possibly more exciting stage of its mission after finishing its mission at Vesta a detailed analysis of the dwarf planet series. Traditional chemical propulsion systems would not have allowed Dawn to escape Vesta's orbit and travel toward Ceres. Instead, these engines supplied a mild, steady thrust that enabled Dawn to cover great distances and enter a stable orbit around Ceres, which the Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi discovered in 1801. Activity or something even more remarkable, Ceres is different from other asteroid belt bodies due to its size, mass, composition, and potential for containing water and ice. Unlike the usually rocky asteroids, Ceres has a more comet-like composition, suggesting that it could provide further insights into the early solar system. After two years of travel, the Dawn spacecraft finally started approaching Ceres in early 2015, marking an important milestone as it prepared to deliver the first close-up views of the largest object in the asteroid belt. As Dawn approached, the images of Ceres became clearer and more detailed, revealing a world that had long been a mystery. The initial photos revealed a surface with many craters, which suggested a lengthy history of collisions. Scientists and space fans were drawn to the mysterious light dots strewn throughout the rocky terrain. As image resolution increased, the scientific community started to speculate about the nature of these spots, wondering if they were ice patches. Is Elon Musk's response and thoughts a reflection of the sun, or might they be something else? To everyone's surprise, even more bizarre speculations included everything from mineral deposits to possible indications of cryovolcanic activity. A closer look showed that the brightest spot was actually a collection of multiple different spots rather than a single object. The most commonly accepted theory states that these are salt deposits that were created when water sublimated indicating that there may have been or may still be some geological activity on Ceres. The ability to raise water or brine to the top, where it quickly evaporates and leaves behind residues of reflective salt, casts doubt on earlier theories about Ceres and shows that the world is far more dynamic and complicated than first believed. The possible presence of brine or subterranean water pockets 
has significant ramifications for the likelihood of life in our solar system. Unlike other asteroids, which are mostly composed of rocks and metals, the intriguing dwarf planet series is frequently characterized as an icy globe with a stony yet permeable surface. Ceres is distinctive because of its composition. It is less dense than its rocky neighbors because of the mixture of water, ice, and hydrated minerals, such as carbonates and clays, that make up its surface. This composition implies that Ceres has a substantial water content. Its rocky surface is porous, trapping ice and other volatiles, giving it more of the appearance of a comet than a typical asteroid. About half of Ceres' entire volume is believed to be made up of a core rich in water ice and a separate interior composed of a mantle. The Ceres' mantle is probably composed of brine and rock, with a core composed of silicates or other denser elements. Is this evidence of extraterrestrial life? The existence of a significant amount of water ice indicates that Ceres may have formerly included liquid water, particularly if radioactive decay heated its core in its early history. This interior structure sets Ceres apart. With a diameter of roughly 9,950 kilometers, this object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter was long thought to be the smallest dwarf planet in the solar system before being reclassified in 2006. It is now the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt and one of the most fascinating because of its distinctive features. Scientists eagerly anticipated the first close-up views of this mysterious world which showed bright spots strewn all over its surface, especially inside a large crater called a cater. These bright spots instantly caught scientists' attention and generated a great deal of conjecture within the scientific community. Little was known about this dwarf planet prior to dawn, and the possibility of acquiring high-quality close-up photographs offered fascinating new discoveries. The best image we had of Ceres was a fuzzy, low-resolution photograph acquired by the Hubble Space Telescope. The Dawn mission's goal was to further our knowledge of how the solar system formed and how water influenced the evolution of planetary bodies. The highly reflective materials that make up the bright spots on Ceres, which have also been observed on other asteroids, could be salts left over from evaporating water. What precisely are these enigmatic lights, and what do they indicate about Ceres' nature? Could they be proof of ongoing geological processes? This discovery raised the potential of cryovolcanism on Ceres, a process where volcanoes eject freezing or brine instead of molten rock. As the Dawn spacecraft took increasingly precise pictures of Ceres, the existence of these bright spots highlights the dynamic and active nature of Ceres, refuting earlier theories that it was a geologically lifeless world. As more information became available, scientists began examining the patterns and traits of these bright spots which led to groundbreaking discoveries about the planet's active surface processes. A vast array of surface features started to emerge, including a series of craters scattered throughout the surface that each told the story of the dwarf planet's past. Instead of being the dormant body that was formerly believed, the discovery of such brilliant spots dispersed over various regions suggests that Ceres is a complex, dynamic world. This implies that Ceres might be undergoing continuous geological changes that could affect both its future and our knowledge of frozen celestial entities in general. The possible presence of brine or subterranean water pockets has significant ramifications for the likelihood of life in our solar system. Unlike other asteroids, which are mostly composed of rocks and metals, the intriguing dwarf planet Ceres is frequently characterized as an icy globe with a stony yet permeable surface. Ceres is distinctive because of its composition. It is less dense than its rocky neighbors because of the mixture of water, ice, and hydrated minerals, such as carbonates and clays, that make up its surface. This composition implies that Ceres has a substantial water content. Its rocky surface is porous, trapping ice and other volatiles, giving it more of the appearance of a comet than a typical asteroid. About half of Ceres' entire volume is believed to be made up of a core rich in water ice and a separate interior composed of a mantle. The Ceres' mantle is probably composed of brine and rock, with a core composed of silicates or other denser elements. Is this evidence of extraterrestrial life? The existence of a significant amount of water ice indicates that Ceres may have formerly included liquid water, particularly if radioactive decay heated its core in its early history. This interior structure sets Ceres apart. With a diameter of roughly 9,950 kilometers, 
This object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter was long thought to be the smallest dwarf planet in the solar system before being reclassified in 2006. It is now the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt and one of the most fascinating because of its distinctive features. Scientists continue to analyze data from the Dawn mission, uncovering more evidence that Ceres is not a static world, but one that has undergone dynamic transformations over millions of years. Future missions could provide more insights into the geological and potentially biological processes occurring on this mysterious dwarf planet. Could there be microbial life forms hidden beneath the icy crust? If so, what does this mean for our understanding of life beyond Earth? As space exploration advances, the mysteries of Ceres may eventually be unraveled, offering profound implications for our search for life in the universe. The discoveries made so far indicate that our solar system is far more complex and enigmatic than previously imagined, reinforcing the importance of continued exploration and scientific inquiry into the unknown realms of space.